Hey Fools, it's John Rosevere with a little fun topic for you today, police cars. And so for a long time, a lot of us who are maybe car enthusiasts and who maybe do not always strictly adhere to the posted speed limits on our highways have been very attuned to the look of Ford's Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. That was in fact its official name. It was for quite a few years, it was America's cop car. It was a nice high visibility for Ford, uh, business for Ford. Uh, you know, police loved these things. They were incredibly durable, they were roomy, they were comfortable, they handled well at speed and so forth. Uh, but the Crown Vic was a dated design. Uh, it, it actually had its roots all the way back in the 70s. And when Ford finally discontinued it in 2011, there were lots of questions about what America's law enforcement folks would drive when the last of the Crown Vics finally hit retirement age. Well, part of the answer seemed obvious. Chrysler stepped up with police versions of its Dodge Charger, and GM started offering a car called the Chevy Caprice, reviving an old name we remember from the 70s and 80s. It's a big rear-wheel drive sedan. It's actually made in Australia, and it's brought to the U.S. just for the police car market. And both of these vehicles have their fans among among the, the folks in blue. And while I haven't seen many Caprices myself, I've seen quite a few police spec chargers. But more and more, it's looking like the dominant answer to this question is once again coming from Ford. Ford offers a heavy-duty police spec version of the Taurus, which can be ordered with the EcoBoost V6 and so forth, all-wheel drive and stuff. And the one that's really doing well for them lately is what they call the Police Interceptor Utility. What this is is a cop car version of the Explorer SUV. Uh, Ford says that this package has proven to be extremely popular, accounting for half of their total police vehicle sales now, which is kind of a surprise because we don't associate SUVs with police use except kind of in rural areas. If you live in a rural area, uh, your local police might have had a Chevy Tahoe or something. Uh, I believe GM has offered a police version of the Chevy Tahoe for a while, but the police version of the Explorer beat the Tahoe in a recent round of tests by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, Ford says. Ford is now offering the, the this police uh, version of the Explorer with the EcoBoost V6, which they've had in the Taurus version for a while. This is 365 horsepower. That's more than the Crown Vic ever had. It's right in line with the Hemi V8 versions of Dodge's police chargers, uh, right in the same neighborhood, and I believe right in the same neighborhood as the Caprice as well. But what seems to be appealing about the police Explorer is the combination of fuel economy from that EcoBoost V6, which is more efficient than a V8, uh, with the perception of ruggedness. Even though the Explorer is built on kind of the same basic bones as the Taurus, there's a little more of a perception of ruggedness because it's an SUV, and it doesn't hurt that it has considerably more room inside than a Taurus. The Taurus is a big car, and it's a nice one in civilian trim, but compared to an old Crown Vic, the back seat is pretty tight. And that's not a problem the Explorer has. Uh, police folks like that. Also, in an Explorer, there's more room for police equipment and so forth, and in parts of the country where weather can be a challenge, whether it's snow or mud, there's, there's no doubt some reassurance in being an SUV. So, long story short, uh, look in your rearview mirror now, get to know what the front of an Explorer looks like, because you may be seeing more and more of them. I can tell you, um, cruising near Boston recently, the Mass Massachusetts State Police have bought a whole bunch of them. I saw a whole bunch of them out. Uh, so if they're doing it, other big departments are probably on this as well. So keep an eye out in your rearview mirror for something that looks like an Explorer. Um, and if you see one, keep your speed down. Thanks for listening, and fool on.